Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're enjoying the official start of summer. Summer for me basically just means get rid of all the t-shirts and switch to jerseys for like three months, which is not that uncommon of an occurrence anyway. But also with the start of summer with warmer weather, I'm obviously doing a lot more work outside. And so with that, I've been taking a lot of senior photos lately and I've discovered a tip, trick, something that I just kind of learned lately that adds kind of a more dynamic lighting setup to your photos. So we're gonna jump into Lightroom and take a look at what I'm talking about. We're gonna be taking a look at this senior photo shoot that I did last week. And so if we just jump into Lightroom here and kind of show you the effect that I'm talking about, here's the raw file, as you can see, a little underexposed, tried to keep some highlights in detail there. So we just apply the edit to it. Now, this is the edit without any of those local adjustments created. Now, if we go over to this masking, these local adjustments, these types of things are really, really good for a lot of things. And one of them that I discovered was using it to just kind of add a little more depth, add kind of a more dramatic lighting feel to your photos. And so if we take a look at the finished product, we just go over here. I added a slight gradient to the bottom left hand side. There it is, finally popped up. So I added a little gradient here and it kind of creates just a little bit more, brings out a little bit more detail in that bottom left corner. And it just feels like a little bit more dramatic of a scene. If we go ahead and, and put these side by side here. So here's the side by side. Now, as you can see, it is not a huge change. There's nothing super different. It's very, very subtle, but I do feel like it does add quite a bit. It adds a little bit more dramatic lighting, a little bit more depth, and it just makes it look that much more professional of a photo. And so if we just go back here, I'll show you how to uh, create this. So super simple. If we just go over to our mask and we go linear gradient, then I just drag a ginormous gradient to kind of create that feather so it's not such a harsh thing. And then I just drag it pretty far over so that it's really not dominating the scene. It's just kind of a little subtle adjustment. And then I simply just brought the exposure down about there. And there you go. Now you have that more dramatic feel to it. You have that little bit more depth, a little more detail, and that just creates a little bit more professional look that's super easy to use, but I think adds a lot to the photo. Let's take a look at another one. Here's our second photo. Let's just go ahead and apply the edit that we had done to it and just straighten that out a little bit. So the important thing to remember with this effect is understanding where your light's coming from, where it's casting shadows, just kind of understanding where you're putting these gradients should correlate to where the light is coming from and where the shadows are in the photo itself. For example, the light is coming from this side of the frame on this photo. So if we were to add kind of a radial gradient, like a fake sun type thing, we could go ahead and go radial gradient just stretch that out, drag it over up here. And then again, super simple, just drag the exposure up and we'll drag it up. Not quite a full stop about there. And then if we want to add kind of some shadows that it would be casting, we can go ahead and press add linear gradient. Do the same thing, make a giant gradient, drag it all the way down to this corner here, and then drag the exposure down about, probably about there. Perfect, okay, so now that we have this, we can take a look at kind of the before and after of the edit with the masks and without the masks. So if we just turn off the masks here, you can see it's just, it looks a little bit more flat. Not that it doesn't look good. This is still a great photo. But if we add those just little light adjustments, turn the masks back on, you can just see how the depth just kind of opens up a little bit more. It just creates that little bit more dynamic look to it and really just does a great job 
enhancing the photo and enhancing the lighting. Let's take a look at just one more photo. Okay, so here's our last photo. Now this one isn't super obvious where the lighting is coming from. It's kind of coming from straight on, but it is still at an angle. And when it's not so obvious of where the light's coming from, that's when you have just a little bit more freedom to kind of flex where you want the light to be, where you want to add the exposure adjustments. So what we're gonna do is paste the edit like we've done on the last two, and then we're gonna add a couple radial gradients, some super big ovals here. And we're gonna add them to each side of the photo just to create a little more dynamic depth. I feel like I've said those words a thousand times, but it's what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and bump the exposure up on this side, maybe 0.79 sure. So, We'll take a look at the before and afters here. So this side is where the light's coming from. And on the other side, we can make same shaped oval, drag it over. And we can bump the exposure down. Maybe about the same amount, okay. So now if we take a look at the before and afters of just the edit and then the edit with the masks, let's take a look. So here's the before. As you can see, just still a good photo, still has depth, still has all the things, but then we turn on the masks and you just get that little bit more dramatic, dynamic lighting. You just, it just adds a little bit more to the photo. So I ended up using this little trick on a lot of the photos that I sent out in this gallery because one, it is super simple, it's super easy. Two, it already enhances the lighting that I have in the scene. It just kind of brings it out a little more and adds the depth and dynamic, yeah, whatever. It adds just a little bit more, makes your photos look a little bit more professional. And that's why I just had to share it with you guys. I thought it was such a great thing that really enhanced this photo shoot. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you can get out there, take some photos, use this in post, this super easy, super simple. I just had to share it with you guys and hopefully you can apply it to your photos and just create that little bit more professional look, a little bit more dynamic lighting look to your photos. I'm out, I got more seniors to edit, so see you later.